Hi folks, it's been a hectic day today. I've kind of finished the militia here, or well, at least I've I've had to uh, paint them and base them to some sort of standard because I'm having a game tonight. I just wanted to make sure I've got the numbers up. Just leave those out. These are definitely my Welsh nationalists. The flag bearers are mixed in there. I think I'll peel him off to be a sort of green jacketed a loyalist and I've gone for the the white um what would you call that? Almost like a a sash, I suppose. And that would be the sort of th theme for the Marthenshire green jackets. And a Vickers team there as well. And that's for the Welsh nationalists. So I'll peel that figure off for the Marthenshire green jackets and not sure he's a spare flag bearer I believe but it's always nice to have spares. The flag I'm quite happy with is this one. It's a fat flag that I actually have in person. I have a um, Owen Glendool flag. He's um, a, a sort of historical a, a figure it, and it was very much one of a uh, Welsh identity as well. He's a Welsh rebel and um, I think he was Beheaded. Oh, was that Llewellyn? Um, no, I, I don't think he sort of, sort of disappeared after the being defeated. He, I don't think he was ever captured then. He sort of fell back into obscurity. But um, Llewellyn was beheaded and his head was taken to the King of England at the time. But happy with that and tried to remember what was it, uh, Leon, Leon's video on flags? Oh, I might. Uh, I think so. And um, touch a super glue down the uh, metal wire, and I tried to furl it then as well. So I sort of see the kink in that. I had a heck of a job um, drilling out the hands. In the end, I just hacked off what I'd <laughs> done for like 30 minutes and just sort of reattached it after putting the, the pole in. I got really fed up, but it sort of pulled it off somehow. Just gonna paint it quickly, and then um, everything's been packed up for my first game of the very British Civil War. I've got plenty there now. That's gonna be the. This is what I've added to the Welsh Nationalist so far, so it's um, starting to get there. I've got mad other plans as well. I've basically graduated. I'm. I'm not actually going to the ceremony. It's not really my kind of thing. I don't like being around people and things, and. Um, yeah, just not my cup of tea, to be honest. For me, the important thing is, I suppose, the where it gets me, you know, wh where that will take me, and what, well, the the years that I have actually been researching, for me, that was the degree, and yeah, but a lot of people find that funny, but, um, no, it's just not, not me, really, I don't like the, the fuss about it. But yeah, really happy you got that um, back yesterday, and then the certificate will be in the post. And, um, yeah, really happy with what I got. You, you can always do better, but when you're happy with what you've done and you've given it your best, you know, that's sometimes that is all uh, all you can do, I suppose. And yeah, definitely happy with that. Um, yeah, I've, I've had some money for graduating off um, mum, actually, so I'm thinking of investing in the Indian Mutinary Range from Empress, but they're actually called uh, Iron, Iron Duke Miniatures, is the sort of sub sub company or sub range and they look so nice I'm just a bit boggled what to choose with those I really want to do the 93rd Sutherland Highlanders then Old Glory do those as well and they're much more reasonably priced not that I don't think um, Empress Minch is a value for money as you know with my Anglo Zulu war range I've spent a small fortune I'm absolutely happy to pay every penny but realistically it's going to go further. For 60 quid, I could get... Well, Glories tend to sell their packs in, like, these jumbo... You get everything you need packs, which is quite nice and convenient. Whereas, if I actually want to do a battalion with command of Southern Highlanders, I would have to do... They sell eight miniature packs, which is quite awkward. I th think it's a bit awkward how they've done it. They're, like, double packs, but that means you have to spend 14 quid for eight guys... And eight guys, you know, even if I'm only looking to do a 24-man unit, I need command, which is sold separately again. 
it's a minimum for two packs of regular infantry and um, command you're already looking at um, 42 quid I think it is so yeah it's um I might have just butchered the maths now no I, th I think that is it yeah and um, it is stretching it a bit isn't it because I would like to have some mutineers as well so what I might do is just go all glory and get a jumbo pack of Sutherland Highlanders that will do me a battalion with spares and then get a um, some opposition for them, some mutineers. Very tempted to do that. The castings aren't going to be as good. Then it, yet again, after all the research um, Colonel Mike Snook has put into the Indian mutiny range, I feel like I sort of have to have that range. It might be nice just to start off with Old Glory. I mean, no rush to go anywhere. And um, yeah, it's not like I'm doing it. We're not walking wargaming at ASAP, so I might, yeah, look at the uh, Old Glory in more um, detail. I've actually painted up some Flames of War. I might just tilt the camera up there. And <laughs> please be patient while with me whilst I just go and retrieve those. And there we are. Some, some Shermans and Fireflies for 30 core. From the American Airborne as well. I suppose it, it's no different there, but um, you, get f ah, you get great value for money there. Look at that. And just some of the infantry. Sorry for the. I could have, of course, uh, edited that if I had time, but I'm in a bit of a rush as I need to prepare for tonight. I haven't done my platoon yet. I've got it in my head uh, for the very British Civil War, but I haven't organised. Um, Organise that. Yes, yeah, so you'd have something like that. I've got a, a full um, platoon of, or well, I don't know what they call it in Flims of War, is it meant to represent a company? I'm not sure. I've got these American Airborne. I was about to sell them, but then, uh, well, actually, they were on eBay, and um, I painted up the tanks then. I just kind of fell for them a little bit. I really like how I've done these. Um, there's a lot of Russian uniform, a Vallejo Russian uniform, a little bit of green grey for the dry brush, um, black. Painting the tracks was actually mo the most trick difficult thing. What I should have done is, is prime them black, and then it would have been a breeze, but I actually primed them grey for some reason, and I had to manually paint the, the tracks black over the, the green base coat, which I'd already done. So not the best way to do it. I've learned a lot of things. Uh, I've also, also painted the um, tunics on the tank commanders a little bit too light. I did use the Vallejo colour for British tank command, but I think it's it, it calls it a higher light, so what I should have done is used it sparingly or cut in maybe something like English uniform. What I can't tell is, was the British um, tank crew uniform completely different? You know... Was it just regular British khaki, or did they have a def, you know, a defined lighter colour? If anyone could let me know, I can um, amend those for next time. But yeah, as they are, they've been painted quite light. But um, we live and learn. Really happy with those. And um, I suppose the, the most tanks I've ever painted. I've I've never actually painted up a. Yeah, that's odd. I've never painted up a Sherman. Got some corgi die cut. How have I managed to war game World War Two for like five years and not paint up a Sherman? I've done Churchill. Well, that's about it. I've done a lot of infantry. I'm not really a good um, modeler. I'm pretty much purely a painter, and that's about it. But yeah, I had an absolute blast painting those. And I love that. Well, I've still got three of these left to do. So it's just jam packed. Um, the open firebox set is probably goes for something like 40, 50 quid new. But I got it for 15 quid at the bring and buy, so it's just insane. I've had uh, eight, eight um, 30 core tanks, a mixture of 
five flies and shermans three stugs two pack 40s american airborne platoon i think they're meant to be linking up with 30 core around um is it nijmegen and then i've got the um the panzer grenadiers and there's a like a v2 uh, rocket landing site as well it's just a fantastic set even if you're not into flames of war it's probably worth picking up very nice set and um <laughs> always love a good bargain as well I'll leave it there for now folks I've probably dragged this out for a little too long but um, yeah thank you very much for watching and for the, those of you who have subscribed recently thank you very much and um, I hope there's something that draws your interest and I've done quite a few videos now if any of you want to go back and have a little look at um, what has been quite an action-packed action, action -packed couple of years now, um, really, well, it's gone from strength to strength, at least in terms of my interest with the hobby, and it's just really drawn me and caught me, and I think it's going to be something that's going to keep me going for the rest of my life, I think. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to doing more. Indian Mutant next, I think. Yeah. Okay, folks, I'll leave it at that. Ta-da.